Hey YouTube, Keyball here. Uh, it's been a while since we've been in the shed. Most of the videos I've been doing them um, uh, cheeky bastards mid week rides or the end of sun end of the month rides. Do the occasional uh, shed video or whatever. But if you've been watching the channel long enough, uh, there was Project Yamaha. I managed to put the back wheel and the swing arm in on that little project. Uh, as far as that project goes. I've, to be honest I've lost a little bit of interest in it uh, it's still there uh, it might come back into play in the winter see how we go but I've had other things to do uh, I thought I'd update you on a few other things as well uh, both the RF and the Bandit are MOT'd they've had a lot of work done on them the Bandit's had the carbs off new pins put in I ended up with a, a fuel leak ended up in my airbox and engine rode it for a few weeks and we've ended up the same probably again and we, we think it's the Chinese fuel tap that I put on it um, that's over at a friend at the moment we're having another look at that so that's off the road at the moment uh, the RF that's running okay it's had a new chain that's MOT'd but that's going to have the carbs <laughs> need taking off as well that's going to need the floats and that cleaning so while all that's going on uh, I thought I'd get back into the market and look for another bike so I think I will be selling one uh, as while I'm standing here you can't see it while you're on the camera for you guys that are not too close to me but you guys who are close to me know what it is but if you're not and you only watch the channel and you're in a different country or in a different area there's a different bike in the shed right now so this video is an introduction of the new bike that's in the shed so I'm going to leave the video there and then I'm going to introduce you to the new beast. See you in a sec. Right then folks, this is the new bike as you can see by the master cylinder cover. Before I tell you what it is, it's a ZZR 1100 as you can see on there and they've also got one on the clutch passenger cylinder which is a nice touch. It has done 62,000 miles which is quite a high but a sports tourer they go on forever. So first things first, before I give you a walk round, we'll uh, fire her up and see how she sounds. So the lights are on, I've put a bit of choke on. folks there you go she didn't want to fire up just I had a few problems with it when I was riding it back earlier but it was really low on fuel and I've topped her right up I'm just hoping there's no fuel gone into the carburetors but uh, I managed to I put the choke on it didn't want to fire up so I just took the choke off it fired up so perhaps the temperature was just right for it well I'll keep an eye on that anyway but uh, there was a little zoom in the video the side and the top and the master cylinder the clutch cylinder there's also a chain guard and the radiator cover they've all got custom ZZR 1100 chrome covers on them which is a nice touch 
there are a few scratches on the bike uh, there's a slight dent in the tank and a little crack on the back end but for a 25 year old bike what do you expect uh, i paid a thousand pound for this machine an absolute bargain i've topped the oil up on it put the fuel in i've ordered some chain lube i'm going to do the chain tomorrow uh, and i am going to do a service on it susan there's uh, i've got some money spare and uh, hopefully a week sunday i'll be taking her out for a nice ride over wales somewhere see how she runs uh, hopefully I don't get any problems. There's good life in the tyres and brakes. I'm going to get the stubs, the exhaust system, which is a micron stubbed, give it a bit more grunt. Uh, and I have taken some more photos and videos, so I'll add that to the video as well, so you'll have a proper look round of what the bike looks like. Because I, at this moment in time, I don't really want to roll the bike back out as I've already locked it up. It's quite late at night, and it's a bit of a pain in the arse moving the bike forwards and backwards. So there you go, new bike in the shed. And uh, the information I told you at the start of the video with Project Yamaha, the bandits obviously over at my friends, the RF, he's MOT and he's shooting and he's running, so I've also got that as a spare. But one of those might be going up for sale, so that's stay in touch if any of you are interested. One of them bikes might be up for sale. Uh, but for now, this is just an introduction to the ZZR 1100. And uh, I'll catch you for the next one, which will be whatever when I've got the time for now. Have a beer, rock hard, and I'll see you next time.